If players want to continue their save while playing on a different map in 7 Days to Die, a transfer is required. In today's video, we're going to go over how to transfer player data to a 7 Days to Die server. First, we're going to log into the Bicycle Toasting Games panel and choose our 7 Days to Die server. Next, we're going to choose the Stop button to stop the server. We'll then go to the Files tab, and we're going to go into the .local folder, then the Share folder, then Seven Days to Die, and lastly, the Saves folder. Next, we're going to go into the World folder of the world player data that we're trying to transfer from. If it's an RWG map, it will be a random name. Otherwise, it'll be Navis Game. Then we will open up the folder with the save that we'd like to transfer the player data from. So for ours, it will be My Game. Within here, you'll see the player folder. We're going to right click and choose archive. And then we are going to right click that archived file and choose download. Once we have that downloaded, we're going to go back to our saves folder. And then we're going to go into the server's current world and save folder. And from here, your steps will change on whether or not you have a player folder in here. If you don't have a player folder in here, you can just upload that .gz file directly in here and then unarchive it by right clicking and choosing unarchive. If you do have a player folder, we don't want to replace this folder. So we're gonna go within the player folder on the server. And then we are going to open up our .zip file locally. And then we are going to grab all the files within the player folder and upload them into the player folder directly. Once that's been uploaded, we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have transferred player data on a seven days to die server. Thanks for watching and check out bisectoasting.com, your ultimate gaming partner.